Thank you for joining us. I'm Shelley Kirk. The U.S. Constitution was signed 231 years ago today, and the Indiana Supreme Court is making it a point to ensure young minds understand the significance. Eyewitness News Sam Neff sat in on one Warwick County classroom today, but he is now in our newsroom with the story. Sam? Shelley, it's one of the foundations of our country as we know it, but if pressed, how many of us can really recall some of the finer details of the U.S. Constitution? Probably not many, and that's why a Warwick County judge was at Chandler Elementary School today to break things down to the basics. On Constitution Day, a Warwick County magistrate, who will begin serving as Supreme Court judge in January, met kids from the same school she went to when she was their age. The more you know about the Constitution now and your rights, influences how you interact with the government, um, what kind of careers you have. I mean, I think it's so important. What I wanted to get across is that there are certain freedoms and liberties that are guaranteed in the Bill of Rights. Much of Amy Miskiman's time was spent highlighting the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. In particular, the first, fourth, sixth, and eighth. Kids showed a lot of interest in the court process. So I think they had some preconceived notions from watching TV. And I think that uh, hopefully this helped spell out, well, no, this is what really happens. And there are certain things you don't need to learn about till like a little later in your life. But um, I think it's really important to know about our Constitution and everything because our, I don't feel like um, our world would be the same without it. Yeah, I think everybody learns at least one thing from crimes to little things like stealing toys from for little kids like like if it's like a really good toy and like it's really expensive you could still go to court for that everything can have a consequence from explaining the rights of freedom of speech to a speedy and fair trial Ms. Kamin says she was impressed with the questions she received from kids who sit where she once sat even if they don't go on to sit where she does now it's just something uh, I wouldn't want to do but uh, somebody's got to do it yeah <laughs> Shelly, 48 judges from across the state met with nearly 3,000 students today for Constitution Day. In the newsroom, Sam Neff, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Sam.